What's happening guys, my name is OTG and I'd like to welcome you some more F1 news and this is the 2014 calendar confirmed by the FRA. So the season will kick off on the 16th of March and end on the 23rd of November. The races that aren't in there are Korea, Mexico and New Jersey as they were originally suspected to be in there. We start off on the 16th of March in Australia, on the 30th of March we move on to Malaysia, on April 6th we go to Bahrain, April, 24th, uh, April 20th sorry, we go to China, then we go to May 11th is Spain, also in May is the on the 25th is Monaco. In June we have Canada on the 8th. Also in June we have a brand new circuit to the calendar. We've got Austin, uh, sorry not Austin, Australia, sorry, which should be very very interesting on the 22nd. We go to Great Britain uh, at Silverstone. We get to see the Hangar Straight Maggots and Beckets, obviously, in um, on the 6th of uh, 6th of July, sorry. 20th of July we go to uh, July we go to Hockenheim, obviously the the reverting tracks with the Nurburgring. Hungary 27th, uh, Hungary is on the 27th, and then we move on to August. The only race in August is on the 24th is uh, the Belgian Grand Prix. Moving into September on the 7th, we have the Italian Grand Prix. Also in September, we've got the Singapore Grand Prix on the 21st. Moving on to September, uh, moving on sorry to November, we have the Japanese Grand Prix on the 5th. The second new, sorry, the second new race of the season is on the 12th of November in Russia. Then we move on to the final month of the calendar on the 2nd of November, we have the United States Grand Prix. The 9th of November, we have the Brazilian Grand Prix, and ending the season on the 23rd of November is the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. The Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, of obviously, new end race, and I'm pleased with that. It's a glamorous way to end off the season, because that is what we all like to see. Glamorous race, and I think Brazil's a better... Brazil maybe could be where, uh, uh, just before... I'd like to see Brazil earlier in the season, because then it might be a little bit more interesting to see how it all goes. And uh, maybe it be a bit more dramatic racing there because I, I don't like the end of the season races are not as exciting as the mid one. The most exciting races are normally the between Canada and uh, Canada and Belgium. I think of the mo Canada and Italy. Sorry. Then when you get to Asia, it's a little bit less exciting because you've got an idea who's going to win it. But guys, at this point, I just like to say thank you for watching. My name is OTG. Please leave your opinions in the comment section down below, and I'll see you very soon for more news on the Formula One 2014 season and pre-season news and the F1 2013 uh, roundup of the season that's just gone by. So guys, thank you, and I'll see you and see you in the near future. Bye.